As you can see in the pictures I'm showing you, there is a buildup of dead skin cells and dandruff. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be tackling how to combat support dermatitis and dandruff and how to hydrate your locks. Just a side note before we get started, I have on Jalen's robe, whose hair I'm doing in this video. He has four French Bulldogs and they shed like crazy. So just a side note, if you see like a bunch of hair on the robe, it's just his dogs. And the pictures that I just showed you were of Jalen's hair. He did have itching and large scaly patches come off of his scalp all the time. We did eventually go to the dermatologist who um, diagnosed Jalen with having support dermatitis. From He's always had it as far as he can remember. So it's just always been um, just a struggle and a problem for him. So when Jalen decided that he did want locks, the first thing we did was make a plan. Um, I always tell people if you do have scalp problems, to make a plan before you get locks. A lot of times the locks do, will exacerbate problems, skin issues. Um, it's not gonna fix anything for you by getting locks. Um, you're not putting as many chemicals on your scalp. Um, so if your problem was, you know, sensitive sensitivities to products and things like that, it may help you. But if you're dealing with um, some type of internal or underlying issues, it's really important that you get that fixed first before or get a plan before you start your lock journey. To start, you're going to need some rose water. I make my rose water fresh because I add in vitamins and minerals such as MSM, vitamin A, vitamin B5, vitamin E, vitamin C, and vitamin D3. Vitamin D is especially important to us melanated skin folk, um, primarily because we cannot or do not really absorb um, vitamin D that easily, especially compared to people with lighter skin tones. Vitamin D can cause severe hair loss. In my case, I was diagnosed with um, alopecia and folliculitis. Um, among other things, on my hair journey, um, I made a video that is posted to this channel. Um, I'll put it in the description box below if you're interested. But yes, vitamin D is especially important, especially in the winter time. So yeah, um, if you have any store-bought rose water, you can make your rose water yourself. Um, but I just love this vitamin and mineral rose water. It gives rose water a little extra boost it also moisturizes because it's a bit milkier than rose normal rose water so yeah i'll also put this in the description box below if you're interested but as you can see i'm just spraying his scalp with the rose water um, mixture um, make sure you really get it in there um, don't be afraid to lift up your locks and really saturate your scalp with it he didn't like the drips on his neck too much. I tried to help him, try to massage it in a little bit. <laughs> and after you finish saturating the scalp, go ahead and do a light scalp massage. The next thing you'll need is some Monistat 7. I know, I know. Ain't that for use infections? Yes, yes, yes it is. But today we are going to be using it for your scalp health. So Monocet 7 um, includes an ingredient called myconazole nitrate. I think that's how you say it. I'm not too sure. But basically it um, clears any scalp infections, reduces flaking, scalp inflammation, and helps with overall hair health. Next, we'll be using Sulfur 8. Sulfur 8 offers relief of scalp itching, irritation, redness, scaling, and flaking associated with dandruff, seborrheic dermatitis, and psoriasis. So what you're going to do is take about two teaspoons of the Monistat 7 and put it onto just the top of the Sulfur 8. I kind of eyeball it, but you can use a measuring spoon if you feel more comfortable doing it that way. Next, you're just going to take the Monistat 7 and mix it into about a quarter of an inch down into the Sulfur 8. 
don't go too far down into the sulfur eight because you'll have more sulfur eight than you have monoxide seven we want to kind of like an equal amount so just mix it onto the first couple of layers of the sulfur eight so yours should look a little something like this um sorry i tried to get it as best into the ring light as i could so then what you're going to do is take a thin layer and spread to the entire scalp it is okay if you put too much in a specific area um, the sulfur 8 um, and monoxide that mixture spreads very well so you just be able to go ahead and spread it to thin it out if you put too much in a specific area and if you're wondering, the Monistat Sulfur 8 combo does take on a very cooling feeling. Um, I know that'll be especially good for people that do have a bit of inflammation or it may feel itchy or it may feel slightly burning. This will be really, really good for your scalp as it'll help to ease the pain of it and ease the overall discomfort. If you're using this more for psoriasis or seborrheic dermatitis, um, flaking or dandruff, I suggest that you go ahead and get all the flakes off. Wash your scalp really, really good. Try to remove any of the buildup as you possibly can. And then start with this treatment. Um, I don't recommend you starting it on any type of, you know, dirty hair or hair that hasn't been washed in a bit. This is primarily because you don't know if the sulfur it monostat mixed with the buildup on your scalp is irritating it. You don't know if it's just the monostat and sulfur it that's ir irritating it. When you start with a fresh clean scalp, you'll know definitively if it is right or wrong for you. Um, Jalen, if he has um, scales on his scalp and we try to put something on top of it, it will automatically itch it. However, if we wash his hair first and then we put something on top of it, it you know sometimes it won't um act the same and it might tolerate it better so just so that you can know for sure if it's the right for you or if you're you know having a reaction or and it's just not the products mixing with the buildup on your scalp go ahead and start with a fresh clean scalp And then you'll just do a nice scalp massage. If you are using this treatment for scalp irritation, scalp inflammation, and overall redness, you may see immediate relief. Jalen usually feels immediate relief right after application. If you are using it for a danger of seborrheic dermatitis and psoriasis related buildup, you will see results within a week and a half to two weeks. Um, with continued use, you may, like Jalen, see a cease in overall buildup, um, or you just may see a huge reduction.
and what i like to do i like to go back and make sure i didn't miss any areas or if any areas um look dry um just to make sure we've covered his whole scalp for the last and final step we're just going back in with that rose water and spraying the actual locks if you are not hydrating your locks your locks can feel dry brittle um hard um, so yeah, just make sure that you're consistently adding water into your locks. Jalen does this whole treatment every other day or he does it as needed. Um, but yeah, and that is it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much. Um, I know my last video did get a pretty good number of views. Thank you. Thank you so, so, so much. Um, I will continue to put out content. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a good one. Bye.